So how do we get the PST on top of an ETX? Now I've got this ETX 105, which again they don't make anymore, they only seem to make the 125 now, as of 2016 anyway. Um, how do I get it on the top? Or to, so I thought, well, I, I could use this, because sometimes I can't use the PST on my main mount in my observatory, because in the winter the sun is so low it, just, it, can't, make, it can't see the sun from the top of the shared walls. Um, so I thought, well, I've got the ETX, let's use the, the, the mount, the tracking mount of that, so I can set it up anywhere in the garden and put the PST on top, piggy, piggyback it. But the problem is, on the ETX 105, as they don't make it anymore, it's really hard to get accessories. Now, one accessory I think you still can get if you import it from the US is the piggyback bracket that fits around it. Now the problem is, on this model I've got the LNT sitting here, um, so I can't go right back to here, which is where I'd need to be. Plus, if we look at the bottom of the, of the uh, PST, the tripod holes are right at the front there. So even if I could put the uh, piggyback bracket back to there, I, I, I kind of wouldn't fit it. It'd have to sit right at the front, and then obviously there'd be too much weight at the front for the ETX. So that would be a bit pointless, really, if it kind of went right at the front there. So, what alternatives have we got? Well, not many really. But as we're not using the telescope itself, one thing I'd actually thought about doing was actually sitting the, uh, and there's the holes on the front, sitting the PST on top of the ETX, something like that, as far forward as possible. So we've got much weight as possible over the uh, main arms, the fork arms there. But how could I do it? Well, the first thought I had was buying some wooden doweling, um, an inch and a quarter, or sort of 30 mil across, and then cutting it and putting a tripod um, UNC kind of screw into the wood doweling. Um, but another method that I'd seen is by using um, an eyepiece. Uh, and basically, if I screw this back onto this uh, 9 mil Keln eyepiece, which I don't know how I got hold of it, but I don't really use it that much at all. You could actually put the eyepiece in the ETX, but have a standard um, tripod screw coming up through the hole in the eyepiece, um, screwed into the bottom huh. So the, of the PST hole on the bottom there, so it would kind of sit something like that on the top of the PST. So how do we do it? Well first of all obviously you need to get the eyepiece. Um, quite a cheap eyepiece obviously to use is probably better and obviously a small um, millimetre uh, eye hole really. I mean this is a 9mm and, and I think the tripod screw will just about go through that and if it doesn't then I'll just drill it out slightly with the drill bit and my drill but first of all the problem I had after taking the end off was actually being able to get the glass of the lens out now I tried loads of different things what I ended up using was a, a, a blunt kind of standard kitchen knife and actually putting it into the center here and then actually just turning it rotating it until the center part comes out and hopefully oh no, there's something else there's another one in there as well right all I've got is a standard a small jewelry type screwdriver and I'm finding that I can just put one corner of it over to one side and then rotate out and turn it and turn it and turn it without damaging the uh, glass in case you want to reuse the eyepiece afterwards and put it back together again. So we just keep turning. Oh, and that's out. And there's the other piece. So hopefully this time, yep, whoop, 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 it's all falling out now. 
So we've got our spacer and the two pieces of glass of the counter eyepiece. Then we've got the hole all the way through. Now let's see what this. Uh, see if this will go through. No, it won't go through. It's just slightly tight. If you can see it coming through there. Tried from the other end. Yeah, it's just slightly tight. And that is a standard tripod screw. I just put that in the bottom there just to prove that right so next job is to just drill that out slightly in order to take that screw right let's bring you up to date now what I've done is I used um, a 6mm drill bit to screw a hole into the top of the eyepiece. In order to let the bolt get through. So I went straight in the top um, with a 6mm drill bit just to make the hole bigger. I then tested that it would go, sorry the tripod piece tripod bolt would go in that way around and then I just made one make sure it was long enough because I've got some various distances uh, something like that it was too short so I went for a longer one popped it in the bottom and I've got that much coming out the top Obviously I could take the eye cup off as well, instead of leaving that on and ruining it. And then what I did was I just screwed on the metal part back on again and I can still get to tighten it up. In order to tighten it up on the bottom and that pops out as well if it needs to so obviously I've had to ruin a, um, a, a 9mm um, or probably better off if actually if you if you if you didn't want to do drilling of, of it um, maybe a 10mm uh, eyepiece or something like that um, I've had to ruin an eyepiece but it was quite a cheap way in a way I wasn't using this eyepiece I didn't really like it that much it was magnification was too much so let's just roll down the eye cup with that piece out let's get the PST let's put it on the back one just loosely roll it on there and now I'm going to tighten it up it's nice and tight on there and the eye cups rolled down obviously it's still uh, moving around a little bit. Um, you could tighten it up further, or you could put a washer in between them, possibly. There's a few more turns on that. So you take the eyepiece out, and then if we move this, I say I've taken the taken the back here out, and then we can just slide. Check that's it's still rotating. And just slot that in there and then tighten it up and that's it job done the only thing to try out now is obviously to turn on and plug it, plug in the uh, ETX and just see if it can handle the weight, extra weight and where the weight is at the back here also there's some weight at the front here but I, I couldn't really get it any far forward unless I used um, now I used like a photo tripod bracket some sort of L shaped thing and actually brought the obviously took that off and left that in but if we moved it a bit more forward um, that could be 
a, a way of getting around it, but I don't know if it's an issue yet. That's it for now.